Okay, so today we're going to be learning how to change the flyer, the little thumbnail that's on the home page right here. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have this thumbnail ready to go. It should be 128 pixels wide. Uh, talk to your graphics guy and make him give you a copy of the flyer that's 128 pixels wide. The height doesn't matter. So let's go to site modules. We look for the name of it and the name of it is right here this one's called New Year's Eve party so we go look for New Year's Eve party it's here green check mark means it's turned on all these red ones mean they're not on so this is the one we want we click on it we look here here's the title so you can just highlight hit delete and you can put a new title all right. and then we don't mess with anything else we come all the way down and we see here's what's the contents that are being shown and we can verify that so yeah that's the flyer and that's the text so then we come here and we need to get rid of this so we can double click on it and hit delete and do the same thing here double click hit delete that gets rid of our text now we type in our new title All right. now we need to make this a link if you decide you want to do that you can and you can style it so once you highlight it then you can see you have all these things here. You got bold, you can turn on and off, you can italicize, you can underline it, uh, anything else. You can change the size if you want to make it bigger. So you can play around with these. Then you highlight it. To make it a link, you have to click over here, this insert edit link. Click on that, window pops up, and URL is where you put what you want to put. You can put in www.test.com and hit insert. Now it's going to prompt you if you didn't put the HTTP stuff, uh, it's okay. You just hit okay and it's going to add it for you. Now it's a link. We can click on it. The underline is what signifies that it's a link if you didn't put the underline yourself. Now if you decided you didn't want it to be a link anymore, you just highlight it. In this case, double click it or however you want to highlight it. And then mouse over here, you'll see a broken link, unlink. This is how you get rid of that link. Alright, and then that takes care of the title. Now the image. We're going to click on the image. You notice as you click on things, certain things that weren't highlighted are now highlighted. It means that these items are in effect. Alright, so now we click on the image and we're going to click on the insert edit image because we want to change it. Then you'll get this window and you'll see your thumbnail being selected and the size 128. Again, this is the width this way. 170 is the height this way. The height could be anything because you have space in the height area so you have all the space so don't worry about that but it can't be wider than 128 because you only have that much space now we uh, need to get back to the menu so now we're back here this is where we're going to be and you see you got the description and whatnot now we're going to change this so we need to upload a new one so you have your other image ready to go and then you're going to find this guy that says upload you mouse over these things and they give you tool tips so we click on upload and we're going to browse to our computer and I have one a, a nice image of me ready to go as a sample it's already the right size and then we can check this select file after upload because we know we're going to insert it you can either overwrite or create you probably won't be having one you probably won't be using the old one again so just overwrite hit OK and now it's uploaded it and you'll see here it says 128 and this one's by 192 but the 128 is correct Here's the image here. It's selected. Over here you'll see it. it's slightly gray. That means it's selected over here. And here's the URL for it. The description and the title. These things, you want to make them relevant. So you want to make the description, picture, or whatever you want it to be. In this case, I'll say picture of me. In the title, I would do the same thing. All right. Uh, and now that's the only thing you really need to do at this point so this kind you would hit update and now it inserts the image All right. now what we need to do is we need to change the link so now this link are deleted you can remove it put a new one or this one edit it so it still has the link that it had before and you can see what that is was here was to the tickets so we come in and we just change this to be the new link and again do however you wanted to uh, we just do a test and then just hit update and again if you didn't put the HTTP it'll add it for you and you click OK and that's pretty much it 
now you're ready to go all you have to do at this point is click apply if you want to finish doing some other things and just save your work for now or save if you're done and when you come I'm not gonna save because I don't want to change what's on your website this is your live site right now and then uh, that's it this is now as of right now this is a title this picture is clickable It'll take you to wherever this title is not but again you can come in here and do all kinds of things with these play around uh, if you decide you made a big mistake you don't remember what you did you want to get back to the original and just hit close and that will cancel all your changes and exit you back out and then you can come back in and click on it and then start all over again alright so that should do it for you enjoy